Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Leslie Kanan of Village Health, and today I'm going to lead a grounding meditation for kids. Now, this is going to be a couple different types of meditations in one, just kind of so kids can try a couple different things, and adults, you can join in as well. Uh, so everybody get comfortable. Uh, kids, grab a rock or something similar to a rock that's not very big because you are going to be putting it on your belly. Um, and adults, I'll have a version for you as well. Um, but we're all going to start seated today. So we're not going to start lying down. I'll invite you to lie down in a little bit. But go ahead, kids, get comfortable in a seated position, adults too. And sitting up tall, um, whether you're sitting on the ground with your legs crossed, crisscross, or if you're sitting up in your chair. Okay, so either way, just sit up nice and tall. The first thing we're going to do today is called box breathing. And I've done this once before um, in, for the adults, but we're going to add a little bit of a hand motion because sometimes when we add the hands and arms, it helps us focus a little bit. So go ahead and sit up tall in your chair or on the floor and get ready for box breathing. So I'm gonna need one of your hands. And what you're gonna do is when you inhale, we're gonna draw a square like this. And each part of the square, each side of the square is gonna be a part of our breath. So as you inhale, you're gonna draw the line up and then you're gonna hold your breath at the top and then you're gonna exhale on the down and hold your breath at the bottom. So you're gonna inhale as you draw the line up, hold your breath as you go across, exhale down and hold your breath. Keep going at your own pace, inhale. So as you continue to do this, there's no right or wrong pace. And you want to just keep your focus on your breath and on drawing your square or your rectangle, whatever four-sided shape you're kind of drawing. And you can follow your finger with your eyes if you'd like, or you can just kind of look past your square. I'm again sitting in my porch so I could look out a window at the birds and the trees as I'm just drawing that square. And if I forget where I am in my breath, I can just remember where I am in my square and that kind of tells me where I should be. If I should be inhaling, holding my breath, or exhaling. Good. And if you want to switch hands, you can. There's no right or wrong hand. Let's just do three more breaths like this at your pace. As you finish, just relax with your hands in your lap. So if you find that your arm gets tired from drawing that square, you could draw a smaller square, or you could switch arms and do the other side. So those are just some options. And you can do that with your eyes closed or your eyes open. So now we're gonna change positions. So if you're available to grab your rock, so kids, you're gonna grab your rock and lie down on the floor. Adults, more than welcome, lie down on the floor as well. If you don't have a rock or something similar, you can just use your hand. But for kids, I highly recommend having a small rock that they picked out in the yard or something similar in the house. So kids, you're gonna lie down in a comfortable position on your back, and you're gonna put your rock on your belly, maybe right on your belly button or right above, just somewhere on your belly where it can just rest without rolling off, OK? 
okay? And adults, you can lie down and place a rock on your belly or put your hand on your belly, or if you're still seated like me, you can always just put your hands on your belly. So kids, start to breathe. You're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And as you breathe, I want you to notice the rock on your belly lifting as you inhale and lowering as you exhale. So feel that rock on your belly rise and fall with your breath. So you're inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, and noticing that rock rise and fall with your breath. You can keep your eyes open or you can close your eyes, whatever feels comfortable for you. You're just noticing the rock move up and down. As you notice the rock on your belly, maybe notice how heavy it is or how light it is, or maybe the surface area of it is really big and round, or maybe it's a little smaller, but just notice the feeling of the rock on your belly as you inhale and exhale and feel it rise and feel it fall. Now, kids, if you find your minds wandering, thinking about different things of your day or thinking about what's going on in your house, Always come back to that rising and falling of the rock on your belly. Now, with your eyes closed, if that's comfortable for you, as you're continuing to breathe, what do you smell? Think of one smell that comes to your nose. What are you noticing? What's one smell you're noticing? And then what are two things that you hear as you're still breathing, that rock is still rising and falling with your breath. What are, what are two sounds that you hear? Now, what are three things without turning your head what are three things you see? Now you could keep your eyes closed and think of shapes or colors that you see behind your eyelids. Or if you want to open your eyes and as you stare up at the ceiling or the sky or wherever you are, what are three things you see? Now come back to your inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, noticing the rock on your belly rising and falling as you take those breaths. Now if you'd like, you can remove the rock off your belly and go ahead and just stretch your body. Just kind of how does your body want to move after doing those breath exercises today? So stretch your body long, stretch your fingers, maybe circle your wrists, maybe circle your feet, flex and bite your feet, maybe hug your knees into your chest and curl up into a ball, and then stretch back out again. And then go ahead and come back to a seated position so that you can see me on the screen. And I just wanna thank you so much for joining me today. As a recap, remember we did the box breathing where you inhale up, hold your breath, exhale down, hold your breath, and you just do it at a pace that feels good for you. You can switch hands if your arm gets tired, and you're just going drawing that square as you do your breathing. And then the other exercise was breathing with a rock on our belly and noticing one smell two things that we hear, and three things that we see. 
also while noticing the different sensations of breathing with that rock on your belly. So thank you for joining me today and for my for the adults that joined in as well. Remember in our transitions throughout our day today, remember to pause, ground your feet, and just breathe. Thank you. See you tomorrow.